In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, we welcome you all to this Mass being taped from the Holy Angels Chapel of the Catholic Center of the Diocese of Las Vegas on this second Sunday of Easter, Sunday in the octave of Easter, Divine Mercy Sunday. And we pray that the Divine Mercy, mercy in Christ Jesus our Lord, may be with all of you and all the families uh, watching this Mass, participating in this Mass from their homes. In a special way, we commend to the Lord's divine mercy, Seta and Mary Herser, who are called home to the Father's house, who died in this uh, novena of divine mercy. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison, Christ eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast, kindle the faith of the people you have made your own, increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed, that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, and by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was one heart and mind and no one claimed that any of these possessions was their own. But they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bring the possess of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles. And they were distributed to each according to need. The word of the Lord. Thanks, thanks be to God. God. Responsorial Psalm. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. Give, Give thanks, thanks to the Lord, Lord for he is good. His, his love is everlasting. 
Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His mercy endures forever. Give, Give thanks, thanks to the Lord, Lord for he is good. His, His love is everlasting. I was hard possessed and was falling, but the Lord helped me. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my savior. The joyful shot of victory in the tents of the just. Give, Give thanks, thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love is everlasting. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. Lectura de la primera carta del apóstol San Juan Queridos hermanos, todo el que cree que Jesús es el Mesías ha nacido de Dios. Todo el que ama a un padre ama también a los hijos de éste. Conocemos que amamos a los hijos de Dios en que amamos a Dios y cumplimos sus mandamientos pues el amor de Dios consiste en que cumplamos sus preceptos y sus mandamientos no son pesados, porque todo el que ha nacido de Dios vence al mundo. Y nuestra fe es la que nos ha dado la victoria sobre el mundo. Porque, ¿quién es el que vence al mundo?, Solo el que cree que Jesús es el Hijo de Dios. Jesucristo es el que vino por medio del agua y de la sangre. Él vino, no solo con agua, sino con agua y con sangre. Y el Espíritu es el que da testimonio, porque el Espíritu es verdad. Palabra de Dios. Te alabamos, Señor. Let us participate in the Easter sequence of this Easter octave, the Victime Pascali Laudes. Victime Pascali laudes, imolent Christiani, anius redemit obes, Christus innocens patri, reconciliavit peccatores. Mors et vita duelo, conflixere mirando, Dux vitae mortus, regnat vivus. Dic nobis Maria, quid vidis di in via. Sepulcrum Christi viventis, et gloria vidi resurgentis. Angelicos testes, sudarium et pestes. Surrexit Christus pes mea, precedet suos in Galileam. Shimus Christum surrexise, amor tu is vere. Tu nobis victor ex miserere. Amen. Alleluia. Oh. 
Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. You believe in me, Thomas, because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen me, but still believe. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the evening of the first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, we have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst, and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side. And do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now, Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the Jubilee year 2000, Pope John Paul II declared for the whole church that this Sunday, the octave of Easter, would now be referred to as the Feast of Divine Mercy. And the beautiful image of Divine Mercy portrays Christ's white light of healing for those wounded by sin, just as the waters of baptism healed and brought to new life those received into the church this past Easter vigil. Five years after he extended this special feast to the whole church in honor of God's healing mercy through Christ's cross and resurrection, Pope John Paul died on the vigil of 
divine mercy. Now, this revelation to Sister Faustina, Saint Faustina of the Divine Mercy, is known the world over. In his first encyclical, Pope John Paul wrote, Through the Incarnation, God gave human life the dimension that he intended man to have from his first beginning. O happy fault, which gained for us so great a Redeemer. Quoting the exultate of the Easter Vigil. It's true, original sin turned love in on itself. Trapped in selfishness, we failed to show our love for God and neighbor. When we fail to love God above all others or our neighbor as ourselves, we wound ourselves and we wound others through sin. In the Gospel today, Thomas the Apostle recognizes the resurrected Christ by his wounds. As Christ was wounded and able to overcome both death and the wounds he incurred, so can we by Christ's love and divine mercy. The power of Christ's Crucifixion and resurrection transform our past, our present, our future, so that we may learn to love properly and that our wounds and the wounds that we've inflicted upon others may be healed and gloriously transformed by God's mercy. The mercy that transforms our wounds is Christ himself. His love is greater than sin, greater than weakness, greater than the futility of creation, stronger than death. It's a love always ready to raise up and to forgive, always ready to go out and meet the prodigal son, the revelation of love is also described as mercy. And in history, this revelation of love and mercy has taken a form and a name, Jesus Christ. Jesus is the divine physician who's come into our lives to offer us healing balm, the balm of the cross and the resurrection, the balm of mercy through which our humanity is transformed and made glorious in a new creation, transformed by God's mercy. Our lives are more abundant. They give abundant witness to the great power of Christ. Aided by the power of the Holy Spirit, let us envelop all of humanity in the love and mercy of Christ by proclaiming Him to the entire world. How do we do that? First, by prayer. By our prayer at this holy hour in this Mass. Pray for God's healing in our own lives and the lives of those we love and pray for those people we don't like. Second, be healed and converted to Christ ourselves. And third, filled with His love and thanksgiving for all the great miracles that Christ has worked in our lives, share that joy with others. Mercy is not meant to be private. Share the mercy of God with others. The mercy you have received will then be magnified. 
Let your life be one of the many signs worked by Christ, thereby fulfilling the words we heard in today's Holy Gospel. That you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief, you may have life in his name. Let us together profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. For the sake of Christ's sorrowful passion, we pray, have mercy on us and on the whole world. that the divine mercy may heal us of all of our sins and make us whole, we pray. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. That divine mercy may break down the selfishness that mars our society, we pray. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. That divine mercy may rid the world of all false mercy and counterfeit compassion. We pray. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. That the movement to introduce physician-assisted suicide, mercy killing, may be rejected and replaced with our call in Christ to accompany in love those who suffer. We pray. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. That divine mercy, especially in the sacraments of baptism and the Holy Eucharist, Be those healing rays and fonts of grace which beckon us all to come back to church. We pray. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice of your, your hands for the, the praise and glory of his name, for our good, good and the good of all his holy church. church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblation of your people and of those you have brought to new birth, that, renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and George Leo, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all gathered here who, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas, and Damian, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, which we make to you also for those to whom you have been pleased to give the new birth of water and the Holy Spirit, granting them forgiveness of all their sins. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock 
of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect, make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, Fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 
at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Before the final blessing of this Mercy Sunday Mass, I wish to thank all those who helped in the uh, ministering in this uh, mass that is televised and taped and brought into your homes. First from Holy Family Parish, uh, Kay Sorkin and Martha Valdez, involved in many of the parish ministries there. Thank you for proclaiming the, the Word of God this Mercy Sunday. I also want to thank Deacon Tim O'Callaghan from St. Andrew Parish in Boulder City and the social ministries of the Diocese of Las Vegas for all of his work. 
And I also want to acknowledge Mickey Bachman and the important work of natural family planning in the Diocese of Las Vegas. And I thank Jeff Mastro for, for uh, taping this Mass and bringing the, the love of God and the power of, of divine mercy in Christ Jesus into your homes this Easter. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.